I'm just going to go through and refute two common scriptures twisted by the charismatic Pentecostal wingnut heretics. And, and they are uh, devil possessed when they do their little tongue talking, that kind of stuff. It's devil possession. But they'll say that, you know, I was baptized with the Holy Ghost and with fire. You know, that you'll hear that a lot of them. The whole baptism of the Holy Ghost and fire. And they'll, they'll twist Luke chapter 3, verse 16, and they'll rip it out of context. And I'll show you why they do this. Because they don't keep reading. Luke chapter 3, verse 16. Uh, John answered, saying unto them all, I indeed baptize you with water, but one mightier than I cometh. The latchet whose shoes are I not worthy to unloose. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. And I'll say, see, you're baptized with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Okay? But you know what they don't do? They don't keep reading. Very next verse. He explains what the, what the baptism of fire is. Verse 17. Whose fan is in his hand, he will, might, he will thoroughly purge the floor. It's for he will gather the wheat into his garner, save people, wheat into his garner, but the chaff he will burn with fire unquenchable, lost people. The baptism of fire is lost people going to hell. So you can't be baptized with a fire with fire if you're saved. You can't be both saved and lost. So they twist that and say you're only baptized with, baptized with fire. And they always they won't read verse 17 because it explains what the baptism of fire is. The wheat with the chaff that saved people. The, um, or sorry, the wheat in the garden that saved people, the chaff will burn a fire and quench it, but that's lost people. So, baptism of fire is people going to hell. So, totally twisting what the verse is saying. Second common scripture, you will hear these uh, wingnut heretics twist, is Matthew chapter 12, verse 31 to 32. And this is the, what they say, you know, you can blaspheme the Holy Spirit and make you lose your salvation. Ridiculous. Matthew chapter 12, verses, what was it? 31 to 32. I just have my notes written down. 31 to 32. Wherefore I say unto you, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto you, or unto men, but the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto men. And whosoever speaketh a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But whosoever speaketh a word against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven him. And notice the key phrase. Neither in this world, neither in the world to come. What is the world to come? The kingdom of heaven, the physical earthly kingdom. What's Jesus saying here? You can only blaspheme the Holy Spirit and commit the unpardonable sin when Jesus Christ is physically on the earth. He's not physically on the earth right now. And he wants a proof on that. Just read through the book of Acts and they are performing the gifts of the Holy Spirit and they are mocked and they did not threaten anybody with blaspheming the Holy Spirit or committing the unpardonable sin. I know this has been brought out in other, brought out in other videos by other brethren, but they'll say you can blaspheme the Holy Spirit and it's a way how they control people. They say, don't blaspheme the Holy Spirit. You, you don't, don't speak against the man of God. You're going to blaspheme the Holy Spirit. What's Jesus saying? You can only do it when he's physically on the earth. That's how it works. So, just had to go through these these two common scriptures that the charismatic heretics will just twist to back up the heretical doctrine. The charismatic Pentecostal movement, it is satanic, it is, de is um, demonic, which you know, isn't really a term because demon isn't really a Bible term. Devil, but uh, they are devil possessed. It is a satanic movement. They fake the gifts of the Holy Spirit, which are meant to be for the Jewish people. If you see 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 22, Proves that the gifts or the signs gifts were for the Jews. They didn't, they're not for Christians. You know, it's a heretical movement. It's a satanic movement. The Pentecostal, charismatic, just heretical nonsense. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.